Trump's entire legal team quits ahead of next week's Senate impeachment trial. That's the topic for today. Hi, Dave from Informed American here with all of you. You know, I was away last week, so I missed a bit of the news, all the stuff that was going on, uh, but it's great to be back interacting with all of you again this week. Uh, but before we get to the topic of today, I want to hit on something really quick just before we start. Story here from Informed American. You think nasal swab for COVID is invasive? Chinese cities are using probes down under. Uh, they, it says your Chinese officials are very careful. They don't want to make any potential COVID-19 carriers sneak by on purpose or by accident. To make sure they're catching as many carriers as they can, they're augmenting nasal and other swabs with samples from the back door. <laughs> Anal swabs require inserting a cotton swab three to five centimeters into the anus and gently rotating it. <laughs> well, at least they're being gentle. Oh my goodness. Uh, and where it starts in China, is it coming to the United States? Uh, we, I don't know if you heard this over the weekend. Now the, the new thing here is uh, should you wear two masks uh, The new contagious COVID, with new contagious COVID-19 variants? Some experts say yes, including uh, Dr. Fauci. So now we want you to wear two masks because, of course, two is always better than one, which makes me wonder, what about three or four? Or 10. <laughs> what about 10 masks? I mean, that would really stop COVID. Uh, and uh, the question for all of you, I want you to comment down below, however you're watching, uh, particularly if you're watching here on the site or on Facebook or on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, will you submit to an anal swab, <laughs> uh, informed Americans? Uh, what, now, will the new standard be you have to wear two masks and get an anal swab? And in this way, we can finally control this dangerous pandemic. It just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse, and the restrictions keep coming higher and higher. And now the latest thing, it was bad enough for the, the, stick, the, the stick down your up your nose and in your throat, uh, but now they found a new way to humiliate you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's just hope and pray uh, this is not coming to the United States. Uh, and yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think of COVID anal swabs? Will you submit? And uh, also, what do you think of the two masks thing? Do you think enough is enough with the masks? Or, or do you agree with me? If two is better than one, why not five or ten? <laughs> uh, absolute craziness. Great to be back here, guys. Uh, but I want to get to the topic of today. Uh, we, there, the Senate impeachment trial of Donald Trump is scheduled uh, for next Monday. Uh, we'll see if something changes there. But uh, yeah, February 8th uh, is supposed to kick off. And uh, there was a bit of news over the weekend. Donald Trump's entire legal team quits before the impeachment trial. Crazy craziness. So why did they quit? Uh, that, that's the question. Why did they quit? Well, it comes down to... Well, the, uh, it says all five of, I'll just get to the article here from ABC News, all five of impeachment lawyers who expected to represent former President Donald Trump have called it quits. The team led by South Carolina, South Carolina lawyer Butch Bowers resigned in part because of disagreements of how to mount Trump's legal defense. Uh, sources said the lawyer had planned to argue the constitutionality of holding a trial given Trump is now a former president. And this is something we covered in a previous video. And if you missed that, uh, you can find that here on the site uh, and uh, and as well as uh, on our YouTube channel and on Facebook. So check that out. Uh, there is a, certainly a, a, a legal debate over whether this is this trial is even constitutional. Uh, certainly the impeachment, that the impeachment passed by the House uh, was definitely constitutional because Trump was still in office. But now the Senate was pre is pre presiding over a trial after the president leaves office. So Interesting debate there. But the reason why they quit is because Trump wanted his legal team to argue that there was election fraud, while lawyers and some top advisors of the former president wanted to focus uh, wanted the focus to remain on the constitutionality of the trial uh, with the president no longer in office. And they said this was a mutual decision. Now, and it goes on here. Uh, the, 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 he's impeached for, uh, quote, incitement of insurrection. What do you think of that? Do you think President Trump incited an insurrection? Let me know down below what you think of that. Uh, and then what do you think about, what do you think about Trump's decision um, to have his legal team uh, also bring up election fraud claims? That was ostensibly uh, part of his, his speech uh, when he was there in front of the Capitol building before he, before he left, and then the mob... <laughs> got into the Capitol building. Uh, absolute chaos. Uh, but his basic point here was uh, 
Trump's point was it was fraud, and we have to go let our, our voices uh, be made heard. Now, whether you think um, it, that 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 speech. Uh, incited uh, became insurrection uh, or was an incitement of violence uh, I guess that we will see uh, as, as the both sides present their evidence uh, but Trump wants to make this about also about uh, election fraud itself or his claims of election fraud and to present his evidence I guess to to the Senate and uh, and then you know directly to the American people now so so he had a, a, a Five, five team, uh, five lawyer staff. They're, they're gone, uh, and apparently, the, uh, just a story this morning. Uh, he's he has hired two more. Two, he was able to get two people to come on board, uh, David Schoen and Bruce Castor. I'm not too familiar with them, and you can check out the story on NPR. Uh, they give a little bit of biography on both of them. So, what do you think of this? What do you think of this strategy by President Trump? Now, the issue of con constitutionality was raised by Ran Senator Rand Paul. Who, uh, who basically raised an objection which required a vote uh, on, the, on the floor, which basically said, okay, Senate, we're doing an impeachment trial, and I want you to go on record of whether you think uh, this trial is constitutional or not. And it did pass, but it only passed by a 55 to 45 vote. And uh, in order to convict, so people are, are see, sort of seeing this as a bellwether uh, for how uh, the Senate will vote in the trial. As we discussed before, the Senate, you need two-thirds in the Senate to convict. Uh, and at this point, it doesn't seem like it, only five, you need 17 Republican senators essentially to defect or to vote uh, in favor or, or to, 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 to vote that Trump is guilty, excuse me. Uh, so only five. In other words, he's saying, well, if, it's, if, if, 45, uh, if only five are saying it's constitutional, then the other, what would they do? They would, they would vote to convict the president uh, despite feeling that, it's uncon that, the, that the proceedings themselves are unconstitutional? For that, it seems unlikely. But what if, let's just speculate a little bit here, what if they change their mind? Uh, not necessarily based on constitutionality, but what if Trump's decision his defense not to focus on on the constitutionality of 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 the articles of impeachment or to argue basically saying well no, okay fine it, well one it's unconstitutional too um this was not his speech was not an incitement to violence or insurrection or, or whatever the term that's going to be bandied about but also that there was election fraud could some Republican senators, maybe they thought, no, okay, it's not constitutional. Could they be swayed against the president? Uh, if they're like, well, you know what, Trump, you got to shut up about this election fraud stuff. You got to, you can't, it's over, it's done with. And if you keep up, if you present this as part of your defense, we will convict you. Do you think that's a possibility? Let me know down below about that. Interestingly, too, uh, you may have seen this news come out uh, uh, on Sunday and this morning. Uh, Myanmar, or Burma, there was... <laughs> There was a coup in Myanmar. The military has taken over. Why? Over claims of election fraud. And it's interesting. I'm not going to draw any kind of comparisons here. Myanmar has been under uh, was under military dictatorship uh, for a while. They had some sort of a power sharing agreement. And uh, I am by no means an expert on uh, Myanmar politics. Uh, but I think the relevancy here is uh, is I expect uh, this this to be brought up potentially during the trial. I think by Democrats saying, look, this is what Trump wanted to do. He wanted to become a dictator. He said there was election fraud and he wanted to bring this thing up uh, he wanted to do basically Trump's vision of America is what you're seeing in Myanmar right now they cut the power to the capital uh, people are are lining up on uh, at ATMs trying to get cash out trying to stock up on food as now they are under apparently a one-year deal by the military taking over uh, that may be the argument saying look people you know you, you supported trump this is what he wanted for you he wanted to he wanted to install himself as a dictator in the united states and this is why we have to have to convict him and it'll be interesting to see what goes on now you know uh, smart money the experts if you will say this thing's a, a done deal he will not be convicted uh, largely because of that uh that vote that Rand Paul, Rand Paul forced on the floor as to the constitutionality of, of the trial. Uh, but I think, it, I think there might be some wiggle room there. And as we've seen, uh, what we assume to be normal in this world is not. Uh, things are moving rapidly. Uh, norms have been destroyed, uh, some you know, by the president himself, and, uh, and, and then others would say certainly by the Democrats as well. And there's some rumblings, which uh, this might be a video uh, coming up later in the week about Joe Biden uh, on, on, on Supreme Court packing. They seem to be moving forward with this, uh, so we may uh, detail that a bit. But I want to know what you think about all of this. One, 
Will you submit to an anal swab for COVID-19? What do you think of double masking? Comment about that. And uh, this whole thing about Trump's legal team essentially quitting on him because he wanted to, in part, apparently, didn't seem to say, nothing in the news seems to say make it his focus, uh, but in part, argue that there was election fraud. And I guess Trump would say, look, you know, this is why we're here. Uh, there was fraud and I want to, you know, we can't, it's too late to prove it, but I want to put out my argument out here to show why people were so angry. Uh, and, uh, and of course, it wasn't my fault that they stormed the Capitol is <laughs> basically going to be the argument. So I want to know what you think of that. The legal team, the legal team quitting on him. Uh, he'll get, he's got two back. I guess he is a, a five, five person team. He's now hired two. I'm sure he'll find three others to, to, to support his defense. Uh, but what do you think of that strategy to include election fraud in it? Do you support that decision? And uh, do you agree that, um, that the Rand Paul uh, forcing that vote, showing that it's just a 55-45, could that just basically be the preview of, uh, of how this final final Senate impeachment trial vote will go. I want to know what you think about all of that stuff. Please comment down below. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, we'd love it if you'd hit the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Of course, if you're watching here on informedamerican.com, please sign up for our free, free newsletter where you can get real smart news. Thanks for watching.